Hey, welcome back. Okay, so when children have spinal curves, Ascension doctors recommend that parents seek care right away to try to figure out a treatment plan as spinal curves can quickly worsen. Dr. Matthew Geck, uh, he is an orthopedic surgeon at Ascension Texas Spine and Scoliosis. He is joining us this morning to discuss a system to correct its idiopathic scoliosis, correct? Thank you so much for joining us. Okay, so first and foremost, I guess, can you just tell us a little bit about this new, I guess, what is it, a study or investigation that's kind of like working to address this? Sure. So, yeah, idiopathic scoliosis is the most common kind of scoliosis, and that happens usually during the growth spurt and more frequently in girls than in boys. And if these curves start to get bigger and bracing doesn't work or other treatments don't work, um, in the past, we've had done these surgeries where we put rods and screws in and straightened the curve. And that works great, and we've really spent you know, 50 years getting that operation perfect, but it makes people a little stiffer. So this new tethering system is designed to correct the scoliosis but leave all the motion in the spine. Okay. Um, and this new investigational device, the Brave, is an improvement on the old tethering system. So we've had tethering for a little while and it's been okay, uh, but this really improves on the, both the strength and the correctability of tethering, trying to make it more useful for uh, girls in, in more stages of mm -hmm. growth and also working better than before. Okay, so we're talking about tethering. Is that one of the common treatments for scoliosis? Right, so not common right now. Okay. There's, a, uh, there's a system on the market which is not quite FDA approved. There's, it's a humanitarian device exemption approval, which means it's not quite up to the same level of almost everything else we do in medicine. And this new device is intended to be that next level up, and that's the one that we're a site for at Dell Children's and uh, at uh, Texas Spine and Scoliosis. Very cool. Okay, so Dell Children's Medical Center is the second hospital in the nation activated for the, what is it? The, the Brave. The yeah. Brave Growth Modulation System. Right. Um, tell me a little bit about this study and, and what it means exactly. So if we can uh, figure out, um, I mean, I think we do have it figured out in terms of when to do this, mm -hmm. but if this device works as good as we think it works in the preliminary work, then we'll be able to fix scoliosis without fusing little kids' spines. Wow. wow. And that's, uh, and, and in the patients who've had this and who do well, they look perfect. They, they look like they've never had scoliosis before. So, yeah. huge win for everybody. It's incredible seeing the advancement over the years. So, if there are some parents who are at home right now and they're wondering if maybe their kids are potential candidates, how can they learn more about what you guys are doing? Sure, well there's obviously uh, our website, go to Texas Spine and Scoliosis, but the other thing is just to come in and talk to us. Uh, it is a very individualized treatment. It's perfect for some curves, but not right for other curves. So really seeing a doctor who takes care of just scoliosis is gonna, is gonna be the person to give you the best advice. Very awesome. Okay, thank you so much, Dr. Matthew Geck yeah, with you. Ascension Texas Spine and Scoliosis. We appreciate you joining us today. Yeah, thanks for having me.